Hi, this is Peter Corrigan on the Entrepreneur Journey. I'd just like to thank all the subscribers who subscribe to my channel, Peter Corrigan, the Entrepreneur Journey. And thank you for that, getting more subscribers there. Um, if you've not subscribed and you don't know about my channel, please subscribe, give me thumbs up and give me comments. And hopefully I can get to a thousand subscribers. That would be fantastic if you can get me up to so a thousand subscribers on my small channel. That would be great. And then I can go live, actually live. And um, I've got some um, special um, things coming up when I go live for you. Uh, guys and girls, especially going live filming one of my shows. I will film the the show live and you can see the show actually when it's happening in time. So that'll be great for you all. You can see a show and see what goes off inside one of my shows, which I promote and organize and put on. So thank you for subscribing. This morning, I'm going to talk about where I am on the entrepreneur journey and the experience I'm gaining. As you can see in the videos, I came from a mediocre uh, working class family. Um, I had um, cleaning jobs, cleaning toilets and offices, and I did that. Um, to um, get the money to pay the bills and to keep my head above water. So I was basically a cleaner. But I knew I was destined to be something better. I always wanted to work for myself. Um, I run workshops uh, while I was doing my cleaning, teaching workshops, spiritual workshops. And um, I found out I could teach and I found out I could um, work for myself. And I enjoyed working for myself and teaching. What I found on the entrepreneur journey, along the journey, and I've got to talk about this, is being an entrepreneur, I've become very competitive. It's just happened naturally. <clears throat> I'm not usually a competitive person, but I've be become a competitive person in the um, entrepreneur journey. I want to compete against the people in the same industry as me. Not only that, I want to become the best. I like to become the best in everything I do. Not for anyone else to show off on an ego trip. I like to be the best of me and the best virgin of me and give my all 100%. I don't do half measures in anything. In the cleaning um, I possibly was the best toilet cleaner the firm ever had because I put everything into it and that's what I do and I think that's what you guys and girls should do. When you do something, do it to your uh, best of your ability. Become the best in whatever you do, even if it is cleaning toilets like me, but become the best and the best of you. Not for anyone else, for you. And that's what I did. But on the journey, I found out that being in competition is not very good, really, because I do have a lot of fears. I don't like losing, and that causes me anxiety. I get a lot of anxiety attacks if I find out some of my shows aren't working. I have cancelled quite a few, and up to the cancellation... It was really a nightmare for me because when I put my mind to something, I want it to work and I want it to be successful. But I've got to learn that we do have some downfalls as well as successes. And I'm finding that hard on the journey because I want to be successful on everything I do. Now, I've got to come to realise that that's not going to happen in the entrepreneur journey. In the entrepreneur journey, you do have failures and mistakes and you've got to learn by them and get stronger and be a stronger character and realise it goes with the territory of being an entrepreneur. We're going to have some failures, but I'm working on that. I do get panic attacks when I'm not selling tickets for my show. And if I have to cancel the show, I really do go in a slight depression there. And I've got to learn to accept it. It goes with 
the territory. I'll have some winners and I'll have some losers. Like my portfolio of my shares. In my portfolio, I've got somewhat go up and somewhat go down. And they compensate each other. And I don't worry about that. So I should do that in my entrepreneur journey. So it's all a teaching. It's all learning lessons. Yet I make mistakes. Yet I do worry. It goes with the territory. You guys will. Don't fret. You'll have some losers. But I'm not giving up. And I don't quit. And I carry on. And I move on from it. And I organise another show. Another event. And I move on very fast. Speed and action is the killer for fear. And... Um, getting over it, if you commit action, if you ponder on it and just worry about it and sit there worrying about it and thinking, oh, I failed that, I had to give all my tickets back, that show were a flop, I disappointed. If you go on like that, then you, you're not going to get anywhere. What you've got to do is realise that happened, forget that, move on, that's in the past, I'll create something else in the future. That didn't work, so what? Nobody died. Nobody got killed. It was just a, a little bit of time and some money I lost. And that's all it is. So I've got to learn to be light-hearted and have fun. We tend to, um, in our journey as an entrepreneur, you tend to not have any fun and lose the fun aspect of the journey. Excitement. And you forget to um, think about why are you doing it as well and where you come from? I enjoy the journey. I actually enjoy it and I have fun. Even if I have stress um, I, and I get anxiety, I look back and I think, well, that stress won't know really. It was good fun actually. Um, I learn a lot about it. So I hope this is making, making sense to you guys and girls out there, having a rant and telling you where I am on the journey. So you will get fear, you will come up with anxiety and you will come up with problems and you feel that you're losing and just wasting your time and you will get to the point where you feel, do you know what, you know, it'd be a lot easier if I went back into the job and being an employee. You don't have no worries. <laughs> everything's set out for you and everything's done and no anxiety, no worries, no money losses. Everything's set there. Well, if that's the case, then you're not an entrepreneur because entrepreneurs do go through hardship. They do go through um, worry and fear and anxiety. And it's not for everyone being an entrepreneur. But I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I always wanted to work for myself. I couldn't hold down a job. I didn't like being told what to do. I wanted to set my own rules, build my own system and create my own destiny whether it's good or bad and be full responsibility i wanted full responsibility of my life i didn't want another human being taking over my responsibility of my life what i'm going to do for my life and for my family i didn't want another human being being in control of that i wanted to be in control of it of myself so whether I'm success, failing, doing good or bad, I'm still in the journey. And it's the journey, the entrepreneur journey, which I love and which I get thrill about. Conquering fears, conquering mistakes, going through hardship. And that it can be um, fearful, but again, it can be um, exhilarating and exciting and a challenge. I love challenges. I love creating things from nothing. I really do. I find it fascinating. Creating something, what you think about, and you create it and you bring it into reality from thin air, just from a thought, you can create something and bring it out into the market and bring it out into the world. So become more creative in your mind. Think about things. And when you think about it, and when you want to create it, create it and do it. And do it fast. Once you get an idea and a, and a creation in your mind, act on it as soon as you can. Don't waste around. Don't procrastinate. Say, I'll do it tomorrow or I'll do it next um, um, week. Because that creation, that thought will get weak. It won't be as strong and you won't have the passion behind it. So do it 
straight away. And if you make mistakes, then <laughs> try to learn about uh, panicking and worrying like I'm doing. I feel we all go through that. It feels like you're on your own uh, as an entrepreneur. You're a lone wolf. And when you do start panicking, you think, does other entrepreneurs do this? Or is it just me who, uh, who's a weakling, you know, and I'm just worried and fretting all the time uh, about losing and that. Is it just me? Well, no, it's not. All the entrepreneurs out there go through the same fear, anxiety and and worry. And uh, we've got to control that ourselves. That's our mind. That's what that's our mind doing that. And we are in control of our thoughts. A little bit of a rant. Hope you enjoy that. Keep watching. Keep subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. Press the bell button. And I see you in my next video on Peter Corrigan, The Entrepreneur Journey. And come along with me on this journey. Me and you, just me, the camera, experience being an entrepreneur and going on the journey. Coming from a toilet cleaner into the entrepreneur world, not knowing nothing about business and entrepreneur, entrepreneurship, but learning as I go along, learning the challenges, learning the skills and learning knowledge and then giving it back to you guys and girls on my videos. And hope you enjoy my short videos as well. Oh, I'm putting up loads of goodies there. I'm putting up music, inspirational videos, motivational videos, quotes of the day. There's all sorts of, of goodies there. You can see luxury cars, you can see luxury yachts and airplanes and everything to do with being um, rich and becoming a millionaire and that. It's not to brag because I'm not a millionaire. It's sort of like giving me uh, motivation. I use my short videos for myself. I watch my own short videos. It's like having a vision board, but I've got a vision short videos for myself. So all them videos up there, what I put on the short videos is what I get inspiration for. And uh, I, I know if I'm getting inspiration from it, you guys and girls will be getting inspiration. I just love looking at successful people i love looking at luxury things i admire luxury things materialistic things i admire it because they're beautifully made and i admire that so take a look at my short videos and don't forget guys and girls take care of yourself and have a great day bye bye